Hello there, my name is John McLaughlin. Welcome to this video. So in today's video, it's the 7th of June, we're going to be doing a trade on gold. Now this is a really good uh, strategy we call Crossfire. It's ideal for beginners and more advanced people as well. So if you're looking to learn a really simple strategy on gold, then keep watching. If you get some benefit from this video, then please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything and comment, like and share. All right, here we go. Okay, good afternoon, everybody. It's uh, 12.59, it's the 7th of June, and I've been talking about this crossfire strategy that I've been doing on gold. Uh, so I'm gonna take you through the, excuse me a minute. Just go on. Turn off my <laughs> glasses are broken as well. But, right, so I'm gonna take you through the whole strategy. So the first thing I wanna do is I've got gold on the five, 15 minute time frame and the five minute time frame. I'm gonna go up to the rectangle and I'm going to go to 1500. Sorry, 1300. And put that there. Where are we on 15? There we go. So that's that. What I tend to do, I've got a setting saved in the templates, and it just just says crossfire 13500. Right, so the next thing I need to do, make that a bit bigger. And I want those two lines, remember the two lines that we put on? So what I'm gonna do now is just put these on just ready, in readiness for 13.15, which is when we'll know where to put these lines. And these are just trend lines. Put them on, the, put them on there. And we'll change this one to red, so we know which is which, okay. So what we're looking at doing, we're interested at the close of this candle, the close of the 15 minute. Um, and what we're doing, we're gonna put the red on the lower low, okay, wherever there is a lower low. And we're gonna put the green on a higher high. So at the moment, the higher one is this one. It's, it's the higher high or the higher candle next to the target candle, which is this one, okay. And uh, it'll make more sense when uh, when I put the thing on. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do as well is, um, yeah, apologies for the glasses. I know they look ridiculous, but I just uh, they they dropped they dropped a bit a while ago, and these are my expensive ones, so I need to get them repaired. So <laughs> like a half wit. Anyway, so what I'm going to do as well with this training is I'm not going to play the whole two hours. What I'm going to do is. I'm going to make it real time, but any bits that were kind of waiting for things to happen or waited for candles to happen or maybe nothing will happen at all, I'll just fast forward um, the uh, the whole thing um, and give you a little bit of introduction as to what's going on and just so you can learn the strategy um, and you can see how easy it really is. Uh, I know I've been putting a lot of results out there and sometimes it's frustrating when you see, okay, you're giving us these results, good for you, mate. Okay, but what about us? How, how do you actually learn stuff? Um, so this is a little bit of uh, learning so you can follow along. Um, the, the other thing, obviously, is we are part of a community and if you wanna know more, then join the community, as simple as that. Um, you know, there's no, no, no bones about that. Uh, we've we've dealt with um, we've built things up over the years and and right now we're in a really good position where we've we don't just have a system we don't just have strategies we have a system so as you can probably tell thirteen zero two uh, that this is the setup so the trend lines the box here just highlights the between the fifth uh, the the, the thirteen hundred and the fifteen hundred that just highlights so I know what I'm looking at. So there's no real, no real science behind that, um, right? So I'm going to wait until 1500. I'm going to keep the recording going, and I'm just going to skip forward. So what you'll do is, as we're skipping forward, keep a look at this candle and find out what it does. And when we get to 1315, then I'll show you exactly what we're going to do with these two trend lines. Right, so let's have a quick look at the news. Okay, as you can see, my FX book. We're, tr we're trading gold, so we want to be looking at uh, any US news. So in 25 minutes, we've got uh, US news, high news. 
okay so that's uh, something to be mindful of and again with news it it does it does increase volatility because what it means is it means the banks and the financial institutions can hide behind the manipulation behind the news it wasn't us it was the news so that's what they do so we've got uh, so three US news in there one high in fact four so something to be mindful of there um, and then four hours we've got some news but really any affects us for the next two hours looking at these okay so it'll be interesting to see what happens yesterday uh, was Monday and really volatile especially on the five minute you know the price is up and down up and down um, and yet we still managed to get those 55 pips that I spoke about okay so news interesting let's keep that open okay, let's go back to our charts okay 1305 um, looking at this green candle here and just wait until the 1315 the close of that candle on the 15 minute time frame and what you can see here as well I also have um, the side by side view let me just close that if I can Side by side view, so I've got the gold on the 15 minute and I've got the gold on the five minute. Now what I do, I set the indicators on the 15 minute and then I view it on the five. Um, so I'll be looking for those uh, those ninja ups and ninja downs on the five minute. Um, yeah, okay, so the ninja ups, ninja downs, they this is an indicator that was built by a guy in the community. Um, he's able to, he's got skills in coding and probably over the last four years um, what we call the ninjacator has moved from fairly something that's been fairly basic and we've built it up over the years or certainly Kevin's built it up to be something really kind of special and it's only available within that community and I'm going to show you that um, after after this session so I'll do this session first and I'll go through the ninjacator and show you what it's all about so whilst we're waiting for this candle to finish to finish painting, let's have a look at the general trend. What's happening to the actual trend of gold? So if you look at this, this is still the 15 minute. Let's go to the let's go to the hourly time frame. So if we took if we took this for instance, would you say it's in an uptrend or a downtrend? And sometimes with gold it's not particularly specific. If you look at this. This is definitely in a downtrend. Definitely in a big downtrend. From there, okay. And we always say it's always nice to go with the trend. Where are we at now? Are we at a downtrend or an uptrend? Well, this this tiny little bit here is an uptrend. Bearing in mind this is the hourly time frame, so we're looking at maybe 12, 12 or thirteen hours from there in a big downtrend from here so but for what we do we're looking at an uptrend because we're on the 15 minute time frame so let's get back onto that and this is the thing nobody can really predict where the markets are. no one can predict what's going to happen to the markets we just react to what the markets do um, you know, you can have the best indicators, the best systems, the best strategies in the world, um, but essentially nobody can predict what's going to happen. Um, we can have an idea from looking what's happened in the past, and we can put things on like, you know, um, support and resistance and all those sorts of things, looking at imbalance and the possibility, you know, of, of, of price going in the direction, but they're all possibilities. You know, nothing is certain. Okay, so... Possibly looking at some sort of an uptrend. Are we going to continue the uptrend? Are we going to go for a downtrend? And remember, all we're looking for is 10 pips. All we want is 10 pips for our strategy. And we used, we're going to use something called the uh, exit manager to vacuum up those extra pips that are available, just so we're not wasting anything. Okay, so uh, five minutes to go, four minutes to go for this next candle. Let's see how things go. Okay, we've got now got 13.15, so we're going to put the trend lines on the trend on the uh, on the charts. So we're going to click the magnet tool, and we're going to go to the higher high. Okay, so the higher high from 
from the green candle is this candle here okay and then we're going to put this green candle on top of this wick about there okay the other one is the red so we want the lower of, of that candle so the, the lower of that which is uh, there right in the right on the right on the body of the candle I would I'm gonna go with this one and then because there's no wick we're gonna go through the center okay all right why do we call it crossfire well we've got a little cross there that's it I suppose as technical as it gets so that's that's our trend line set on a 13 15 candle which is this one here this is the the candle is now painted and that's it now we will now move on to the next one so we've got the lower low on this one for the red and the higher the higher candle i suppose you could say that let's go in a little bit yeah we see we could put it on this one here but essentially you're going to get the same kind of result um yeah i think my eyes are telling me this is this is going to work that's fine okay so let's just onto here i'll do so we've got this candle here and then the top of the wick which is there all right and then the the wick there okay that's it that's better okay we're gonna need more powerful glasses for this right so now what we're gonna do we're gonna wait so we're waiting for this candle to see what it does if this candle goes below the red then potentially we get in for a, a sell and if it goes above the green then obviously we're going for a buy and now what we're gonna do we're gonna look at the five minute time frame because this is more more accurate for this particular strategy So you can see here the the candle is now just touching the red trend line um, and that kind of gets things ready you can see these little dots here these are called PSARs um, parabolic stop and reverse points and if the PSAR is at the top then that means that the price is potentially going to go down a bit further um, so we're now just crossing the line okay we're not going to get in yet too soon to get in and we've still got a minute a minute to go on this time frame this is a five minute time frame there's a minute to go on it so we're going to see what happens what we're doing now we're going to wait for a ninja down alert um, to see what happens there and uh, I say this is, this is going well to the downside so I'm going to go over to my MT4 on the five minute time frame I'm going to go to the just get everything set up with the lot size with the with the take profit now account uh, protection I would go in somewhere generally what you say is somewhere about that piece are that, that, that dot there and you take profit obviously is 10 pips so 13 seconds 10 seconds left on this particular time frame I'd imagine when we get the new candle we'll end up with a ninja down and then we'll see about getting them a trade. <laughs> As you can see, new candle, and then suddenly it goes to the upside, and this is why you don't you, this is why you don't rush into a trade. Just just let the just relax, breathe, let the trade come to you. Another interesting indicator on here is the stochastic indicator and if you just see these two lines this is the the 5 and the 15 minute time frame and when the red line is on top it means the buyers are in control and when the blue line is on top sorry did I say that wrong so that when the red line is on top it means the sellers are in control and when the blue line is on top it means the buyers are in control and this stochastic is just an oscillator it just goes up and down um, and when it's when it's at the bottom between this uh, 
this zone here. You see if it's 25 just below this zone, this is an extreme zone, it means it's been oversold. Um, so potentially it's going to want to go back up. And as you can see from here, it's gone back up over there. This this area here, it's one gone back up. Then it's arced and it's uh, gone back down again. So we'll have to wait and see. Just wait and see what happens. Okay, we don't really know what's going to happen. There's no uh, confirmed uh, trade in as yet. Even though it's gone below the red line, um, we haven't had the indicator to say get in the trade. Um, and again, this is the, the five minute time frame. So things happen fairly quick. If you look at the 15 minute time frame, you know, the, the, the red candles just kind of sat there, kind of chilling out, just waiting for things to happen. The five minute time frame is a bit more erratic, goes up and down. Um, and again, we as traders, we just wait for the right conditions. When the conditions are met, then we get in the trade and we, we achieve our targets that way. So 50 seconds left on the five minute time frame and we'll just see what happens, see what uh, see what gold's going to do and if we just go and check the uh, the news again, we'll just see what time that uh, that news came in. So it's in five minutes, so it's at 13.30, so five minutes time, we'll see what happens, that, that's going to be interesting. So just here. Okay, let's just put a little indicator on just for illustration purposes. So just here is news. Okay, actually you can see it from there. So we've got two news events. This one's the high one, this one's a slightly lower one. Um, and we'll just see what, what the markets do in, in response to that. And we know that everything in trading is manipulated. Um, and, you know, the banks are not supposed to manipulate the markets but they do because that's the way they survive and trade and they do it behind news so rather than actually manipulating the market blatantly they'll wait for news to come up and then manipulate the markets then um, you know everything in life is manipulated um, so that's just the way just the way life is and uh, if you understand that and you know that and you can work around that to your benefit then it's uh, it's just it's the way trading is. So just going above a bit more. So we've just increased a bit more. We're still hovering on that line. So you could say possibly it's a little bit of consolidation where um, price doesn't really do anything, just go sideways, and that generally is an indicator that the banks and the financial institutions are, are, are looking to take some profits when this news kicks in and I guarantee at this level here because the markets have been fairly steady and a little bit consolidated when it gets to here this is going to shoot in, in one direction or another um, can't usually guarantee much but when th when things line up um, you can just see it happening let's wait and see <laughs> Okay, so we've got uh, three minutes left before the news kicks in, uh, 13.30. And one thing that we're looking at is if we're going to go for a sell, it's going to shoot down fairly quickly and we'll get the notification to get in the trade fairly quickly. If it's going to go to the upside, bear in mind that it's going to take out this piece out here, it's going to take out that dot, and then it's going to go above uh, this green line. Okay. So either way, we're ready. We know what lot size we're going to do. Uh, we've got our MT4 open and uh, we're going to jump on this. So two minutes, see how things go. <music> OK, 
okay one minute before this uh, news kicks in and I'm kind of interested to see what's going to happen so uh, let's just wait and see okay that's the 1330 candle and uh, we'll just see what's going to happen we're going to go to the downside Quite possibly the downside. So we've already got a ninja down indicator here. Um, we've got the PSARs on top. So it's looking like a sell opportunity. Okay, well I'm gonna get in for the sell. Okay, in for the cell. So when you're first learning trading, a lot of people will say, you know, what is gonna happen around the news? What's gonna to happen to news? And a lot of people say, stay away from news because the markets do, they are a lot more unpredictable because of the manipulation. Um, but you know, some people love the news some people just you know trade around the news and have it has no effect on on their trading um so that's just a couple of little things we're in the trade now we're in for the sell let's see how things go so currently up currently uh two pips up two pips up um, but again, it's gold. Two pips could happen in a, a microsecond. Uh, it, it moves quick, and that's why a lot of people like it, and so why some people don't like it. So, So again, we're just hovering around the uh, take profit level at uh, on on gold at nine pips. Seven point eight, nine, ten. There we go. That's it. So again, that was the take profit level. Okay, we're still going on. Uh, actually, put a trade on silver. Which is doing really well. So that's it. That's all, folks. That's the ten pips, and we're still going. Um, we're still going for the. Uh, even more so what, what's happened here on this one this level here oh I'm gonna take the, uh, right so I'll just put the trend line on this was our stop loss okay and the take profit was uh, 10 pips just down here okay so, whoop. and usually it, the sweet spot for this particular strategy is between 10, I would say, oh, okay, for, for learning purposes, 10 pips, okay. 10, 10 pips is the sweet spot, just around the, the base of this box is where we took the profits. Um, our stop loss was up here. And as you can see, from when we got in the trade, where did we get in the trade? About somewhere about here. Well, we went from here, didn't we? Okay, so we got in the trade there. Okay, and we got out of the trade there. We took 10 pips. Maybe we could have taken maybe 14 pips. But look at now what's happened to the price. It's going up again. Okay, so we're in, we're out, we're done. And this is what I've been showing you. Really simple. And the in fact, the, the stop loss was here. Do you see this piece out here? This dot, just there, that's where the stop loss was, just above there, just there, okay? So it gives the trade plenty of time to breathe, plenty of time to move, uh, and we take the profits, and, and that's it. And we're done, that's it. I mean, I've been showing you that, you know, the it's quick, and that's how quick it is, uh, and that's profits for the day. Um, in fact, I've got a, a trade on silver, which uh, I'll just close out. That's gone up to the same profit level. Um, so what we'll do, we'll just, 
I'm going to stay on because I, I uh, let me take this off. There are between this time there are other trade opportunities to take now. With me, because I've taken ten pips, that's me done for the day. I'm finished. Okay. So this was what five minutes. So well, let's take it from there. So from getting in, making a cup of coffee, sitting in front of the computer, turning the thing on. Um, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30 minutes, half an hour, and we're done. So some people say, you know, why don't you get in and stay in for more pips? You know, I've seen I've seen people take 300 pips. How come you take only 10? Are you rubbish traders? <laughs> and you know, with certain systems, with certain strategies, you can see from there, from here, we got into the trade, we got out of the trade with 10 pips in and out, and that's it. And daily targets are done. If I'd have stayed in this trade, possibly I could have got 14 pips. But right now, I could have gone back to break even, um, and. This is one of the things about having a system or strategy and trusted in that system or strategy and just being disciplined to do that every day. And what I used to do, I used to go into a trade and go, okay, 10 pips, 10.3, you know, 11 pips. You go, yes, look how much better I am. I got 11 pips and then it'd go three pips and then negative pips and go down, <laughs> you know, and you've got this emotional roller coaster going on. And, you know, this is why I say, find that strategy, find that sweet spot, you know, f f for me right now, using things like the Crossfire and the Ninja Trading System is perfect for me because it's great for my, for my psychology, but being able to get in a trade, get out of trade, and then get on with the rest of your day. Um, and that, as you can see here, it's still... It's still sort of going up, maybe a little bit of indecision there. These little little candles with big wicks, normally indecisive. If you look at this one here, this is a real indecision candle. Indecision before it went to the downside and then went, no, no, we're going to go to the upside. No, we're going to go down. And again, overall, this is consolidation. Um, before it went to the downside, we got in, we made the pips and we got out. Um, so I'm going to stay with it because I'm going to see what happens to gold as we are now um, compared to yesterday I mean Mondays are always quite volatile and especially with the UK with having all the Jubilee celebrations and all the bank holidays um, it took a while for the markets to warm up um, and when they do warm up you know it's it's all over the place it's you know crazy um, today is a lot calmer than yesterday um, but still compared to a lot of you know fiat currencies on the forex markets gold is is comparatively volatile. Um, let's see what happens. Just one thing to note here, um, I mentioned about the stochastic in that it's an oscillator and it goes up and down. And as you can see here, at this point here, sellers were in control. This is when we got in the trade and then it just leveled out. So what it's doing now, it's gone into the extreme. So it's telling us that Gold has been overbought, and the oscillator uh, is is saying, well, it's not really saying anything. It's just it's a lagging indicator, which means it, it tells us what's happened in the past, but it gives us an overall kind of idea. And because it's in the extreme, what's going to happen? Because of the way the markets work, it needs to go back up to balance to balance those markets. So potentially, what it's going to say is it's going to go back up. Okay, so you might find this might end up going back up there but remember if we're going to go in for the buy it's got to go above this line so it's got a good way to travel um, before it goes into the buy zone um, so it may well happen you know within this two hour window period um, but again you know trading is all about being patient waiting for the right time and you know whether you win or lose the market doesn't care the market will do whatever the market does and as traders we have our strategy we look at what the markets are doing and we respond accordingly 
and that's what we did here. go and check this news again so we've got we had the news here which is now finished and we've got the news here in six minutes so the the, the markets didn't really react at all um, with this news uh, not not specifically anyway and we're in the trade and, and we got our pips for that um, I'm just wondering if, if there's gonna be another move on here 1355 so Currently, we're at uh, 1348. So at this level here, let me just, uh, let me just clone this boy here. So at 1355, we've got more news. So might there be a reaction to there? I don't know. Uh, the thing is with news is that, you know, if it's good news, for USD, then that can bring the price of gold down, and it can increase the the, the prices of uh, of USD. If it's got a negative effect on USD, then it can put the pro gold prices up. Um, but at the moment, it just seems to be just kind of meandering. Doesn't really the news doesn't seem to affect it at all. But let's just wait and see what happens at thirteen fifty five. That'll be interesting. <music> As you can see here, we're looking at this is the the five minute time frame, and we can see slightly in slightly more detail, a bit more of a focused in about what's happening every five minutes. On the fifteen minute time frame, you can see that the market went down, and now it it's kind of doesn't really know what to do. But we've now got a green candle that's appeared there. Um, in fact, the green candle's been there for a little bit of time. And again, the stochastic, as you can see, it's just started to curve up. It's come out of that extreme. The the buyers are in control. If you can see that the buyers are in control, and as you can see that the tail of that uh, what do what we call it a line? Let's call it a line. Let's be technical. The tail of that line, that trend line, is going down, but sometimes it kind of flicks up as the price goes up, and I think that's what's going to happen. It's going to go back up, maybe to sort of you know. Up to here, maybe up to up to this level again, and clearly this line here is is quite a quite a defined support and resistance zone. Um, so that's what I think it's going to go back go back to. But you know the markets, we can think and we can predict all we like to sound clever, um, but the markets will do what they're going to do. You know, I mean, I said here with the news that I literally thought because it was high news um, the markets would shoot in one direction and it didn't really do anything it just kind of went down um, let's see right so it's 13.55 we've hit the last of the US news um, Again, lots of indecision with the markets with those with those little yo-yo looking candles. Yo-yos? Spinning tops. <laughs> you know what I mean. Candle little doji candles. Indecision, 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 indecision. Don't know what's gonna happen. Um, we're now at the news. Price could go anyway. Let's just uh, see what's gonna happen. If we're gonna get in for another another trade, then we're we're go in for the sell. Um, if the price continues to go to the upside, um, the conditions are not such where we'd, we would go for a sell, um, a buy. So we're looking we're looking at potential sells um, in this position. So market's going down, but again, looking at that, it's it's indecisive. Uh, it's not giving us a strong a strong push either way. And if you look at the stochastic, remember I said about the the trend line of the cell was kind of going down and maybe flicking up. Um, what it's done now, it's kind of folded over and it's now going sideways, kind of intermingling with the the cell. So you've you've got that crossover, um, which again just means more indecision. 
What you'll find as well is that when the candle, you see the, the, the on the five minute time frame, the buy is going to go up and it's going towards that PSA. When it hits the PSA, there you go, as I said, just done now, it'll flip. So the PSA is now underneath, um, which means the trend, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a parabolic stop and reverse and that's what it's done. It's stopped and it's reversed. Um, so are we going to look at maybe the, you know, the, the price is going to go to the upside. Um, but again, before the conditions are met for us to get in, uh, it's got to go all the way past the green line um, for safety. We do it for safety. Let's see what's going to happen. So as you can see there, what's happened, the indicator has given us a ninja up, okay, and then just suddenly disappeared. Um, conditions were met for a buy um, on a different uh, strategy, not for this one, um, and then conditions were not then not met. And again, this, this is what sometimes happens with the five minutes. Everything can align and then suddenly it's gone. Okay, and knowing when to get in and when to get out of trade is, uh, is just time and experience, really. Um, and again, as you can see, what's happening now is the markets are going sideways. Um, the market went up a little bit for that. Uh, let me just get my... So it went up slightly here when the news was on. Again, nothing significant. Um, we had a ninja up here, which uh, which has now disappeared because conditions have changed. Um, and again, markets are still going sideways. Uh, so we'll cut on to the first hour. It's the first hour of the uh, crossfire strategy. It's 1400, just 1401 now. Um, we've, we've made our targets for the day. Uh, within that 25 minute time frame on this candle here we've got the 10 pips and I also got 10 pips on silver as well although that's irrelevant for, for this this particular training <coughs> and we're just seeing what the market is going to do from here on in whether it's going to do anything more significant whether it's going to go any further to the downside we'll just see we're just waiting and seeing and reacting to the markets accordingly Again, same thing that's happened on the previous candle. We've now got a ninja up alert, um, but I'm guessing that's going to disappear at some point. You can see the stochastic is moving up slightly. Okay, so it may well go up, um, but uh, again, the market's indecisive. Um, it's consolidating. There's nothing really much doing, but uh, we'll see. Something I've just noticed here as well, and uh, this, this doesn't really have a fact at the moment, it might do, is I'm going to move this green line to this area here, because that that isn't the higher high, this is the higher high, and this is a wick. So that might have a bearing a bit later, but not quite now. That's how I want it, there. Okay. So the green line goes on the, the higher the higher high next to this 15 minute candle. And I, I'm just looking at it again with uh, with that that isn't the candle, the candle was here, because this, this is higher than this. Okay. This this candle, the body of the candle is higher, but the wick, the 15 minute candle's wick is higher than this one. Okay. So we don't always get it right, but when we do we put our hands up. So that's what uh, I'm going to do for that one and again it hasn't affected anything hasn't affected any of the trades that we've been in it just means that if this candle eventually goes up let's say it goes up to here then when it gets to the here then we can go in for a buy okay okay just again just to explain that so we're looking at the higher high on the buy and a lower low on the sell okay so what's what's the next low from here we can see it's just got a tiny wick on there and the lowest is is here if there was no particular low for say the whole of the session then we just put a horizontal line on there just a horizontal line from from the from the uh, the 1300 candle okay but at the moment um, say still consolidating still nothing really much doing nothing in either direction and not much volume at the moment
if this trade actually went uh, a little bit lower what it'll do it'll take away that piece are as you can see here the same way it did when it went up and the piece are this this little dot flipped from the top to the underneath to there if this candle moves down and touches the piece out or flip to the top and then again when it does that if it does that then potentially we can look at getting into a and again if that does happen where would we put our stop loss well account protection put on the ray account protection i would probably probably get in it's quite tight but probably this this line here okay for a stop loss and then again a take profit of 10 pips maybe a little bit higher than that it's just a little bit tight there <clears throat> but again as the as the markets are okay you see this candle that we're looking at right now it's up and it's down it's up and it's down there's no real volume we don't really know what it wants to do um so we we just wait so the lower low of this particular session as you can see just here okay so the chances are it might just wick to this line um before doing something and that something can be it kind of bounce or break it'll either bounce off that line okay again the support and resistance line it'll bounce off that or it'll break and if it breaks then we could have a potential move to the downside so yeah, as I say, it's going, to, it's going to do two things. It's either going to bounce off there and come up, okay, like that, or it would bounce off and then come down. So at the moment, it's bounced up and it's coming back down, and we've got a ninja down alert, and we've also got the PSR flip, okay. So again, the, I'll put your stop loss. Sorry, put your. Put your stop loss at the piece are just above it stop loss here and just wait until it goes past this line and again it's it's dancing around the line again let's just see what it does so the next zone we've got from there as you can see that's quite a, quite a decent support and resistance line it just you see these two here went past the line this is a quite a good zone and uh, the next zone really is down here which is it could potentially go to there but we'll just see what happens I don't think it's going to do too much before the end of the session before the end of the 1500 but it's gold so you never know so it's going back up in price means that ninja down will be taken out and uh, it'll dance around that level but you know we'll see so a quick question you might ask is as you look at the market why didn't you get in here when it went below the, the red line and then if you, if you got in here then you could have taken a potential you could have taken 42 pips or why didn't you get in here for example why didn't you get in there and then you could have taken 19 pips well the, the fact of the matter is that the conditions weren't met and if you've got a strategy and the conditions aren't met then essentially you're just gambling okay so you'd be in the trade here and you'd be gambling as to well let's get in the trade and hopefully it'll come down and make my 10 pips and then literally five minutes later you'd have been back into you'd have been in a drawdown and then five minutes after that you'd have been it maybe a bit of a take profit so what you want is, here we go, look, it's just starting to break just past that line. Okay, we'll come back to this in a minute. So we've got 40 seconds left of the five minute time frame and we'll just see what it's going to do. So it's just dancing around that line there. And what we're looking for is a nice positive move to the downside. 
we've got the ninja down alert we've got the peace hour flip the peace hour is up here and again still dancing around this support and resistance level so three seconds left on the time let's see what it does have we got any significant moves no, we're back to the upside and if you look at the stochastic you can see what it's done you can see these down candles here the stochastic moved to the downside the and if you can see that with the the red on top when sellers were in control at this point and now it's gone down back down into the extreme and it's telling us that you know price potentially is going to go back up to rebalance the markets and who's in control at the minute well it's saying sorry about that so the sellers are in control and again patience is everything we're trading patience i could have got in the trade and stressed and worried and got into drawdown and you know and, and usually at this point i would, I would have got in the trade here and done my 10 pips and got out, I'd have been doing something else. But I want to show you the whole of the session just to see, just to show you what this, what this crossfire strategy is all about. And also, um, there'll be lots of learning opportunities along the way as well. So even as though you can see the candles going to the upside, it's still got to touch that piece, that piece just here. See, it's just, just there. Still got to touch that piece now before we get any sort of potential reversal and then it's going to go past this green line to do anything significant so even before we consider getting into a trade the conditions have to be met otherwise it was gambling um i mean if, you know what's that done there i mean that was that was 17 pips in that little move there but again, there was no indication that it was going to do anything. Um, you know, it's bounced off this line here. But again, conditions aren't met for the strategy, so we don't get in. So, a 14.25 uh, in five minutes. We'll have 30 minutes left of the session. And uh, once that happens, then we'll call it a day at 1500. What you find with gold on a, on a quite a volatile day is that price moves really quick and as you can see now the market seems to be warming up even though it's supposed to warm up at one o'clock because that's the time of the US Open um, you know the, the movement that you see now is is more uh, common with with gold uh, the, the, the way it moves the quick the quickness of its moves we may even see it before the end of the session we may even see it go above the green line, uh, at which time we'll consider going in for a buy. We can see that everything within trading is psychology. You know, we could have got in this trade right now, and you know, you see the see the market going up and up and up, and you think, get in, get in quick, and you get in, and suddenly it goes down. You know, because conditions aren't met, and you think, why did I get in when I shouldn't have? You know, and if you've if you've seen the the book that I did and the training materials that we put together I'll just show you that if you can see it teaching the monkey a trade this is all about psychology and techniques to improve your trading psychology and you know if you're if you're struggling with that psychology of let's get in but let's not get in you know um, why did I stay in too long why did I over trade you know why did I stay in, in, in a trade when it was 10 pips up I stayed in too long and now it's in drawdown and it's all to do with psychology so if you if you're struggling with that you want to help with that then get that uh, get that book and the resources that i put together it's uh, it's going to set you up uh in the right way and they can see look it went up and now it's going back down again and again you know you could have got in this trade at the bottom so if you'd have got in that trade there or if you'd have got in that trade with the ninja up, then again you'd have been you'd have been gambling and hoping and wishing that it keep kept going up. And then when when would you have got out? 
because when you start gambling you want to stay in for as long as you can you stay in you stay in you stay in you stay in and suddenly suddenly you lose everything but it's going nice to the upside so if it continues this way and it goes past this line here then we'll be looking at the buy so currently 14.31 we've got half an hour left uh, let's see what happens So let's look at this uh, stochastic indicator. It's gone from the bottom of the extreme and it's, as I said, it's pushed up at the top. The, the blue line or the green line is at the top, which means uh, buyers are in control. And the separation here between the blue line and the red line is quite significant, which means there's quite a, an overall command and control of, uh, of the position of, of the buyers. Um, so we should see uh, this price go up a little bit further, but remember this is a lagging indicator. It's not a predictor. It's not a it's not a crystal ball Okay, even though people think some of their indicators are little crystal balls um, So it's just a it's telling us what's going on um, But you know we're getting closer and closer it touched the line here Okay, you can see it's it's just wicks just gone over just gone over here So again, this is another support and resistance line here Um so again, when we get a line, it's either going to do two things. It's going to bounce off it and come back down, as it did here, or it's going to bounce off it and break. Okay, and if it breaks, then we go into this line and we consider the buy. And again, it's just a waiting game. Be patient, see what happens. You know, back in my days when I first started trading, I, I got into a trade, I don't know, pretty much anywhere. <laughs> let's get into it, it's going up, let's go, let's go for the sell. Let's go for the buy. It's going down. Let's go for the sell, you know. And you know, you need your strategy. You need to stick to your strategy, to be completely disciplined with it, um, and and wait for the trades to come to you. As you can see now, we're nearing this support and resistance zone, this red line. Are we going to cross it? It's certainly looking fairly strong, but it may well pull back. And again, it's going to do two things, it's going to bounce or break. And at the minute it's bouncing, as it's going backwards. But again, look at look at how it's respected that particular trend line. So we've got 10 seconds left on this particular time frame before we uh, start painting a new candle and it's uh, 14 45 so 15 minutes left is it going to do anything significant and when they're going for a buy is is the is the price going to move in in a, in a way that we've never seen or is it going to just uh, do the same sort of thing which is pretty much consolidating I'm thinking at some point it's gonna it's gonna it's again it's testing that line it's testing that trend line the red trend line and I'm I'm thinking at some point it's got to well it hasn't got to do anything but I'm thinking at some point it might uh, it might try the buyers uh, what's happening now is the buyers and sellers are having a fight a little bun fight who's gonna who's gonna win the buyers or the sellers uh, and if you look at the stochastic right now. The, the buyers are still in control but they're slightly running out of steam because this gap has got a little bit thinner and we're entering the extreme which means it's been overbought um, so again potentially it could it could come down it could go sideways it could keep going up and up in which case this this particular indicator would just carry on going across and we've seen that before with gold <coughs> where it just goes across for hours and hours and hours 
and you think it's gonna you know go down or do something and you know the markets do what they want to do and again still respecting this uh, this red trend line that we put on earlier so let's just see what happens is it gonna break it's bouncing is it gonna break <laughs> it's on the line and it's bounced off <laughs> it's bounced off but look how it's respecting the line to the pip okay so this is the first the first bit where it's broken so it's broken the trend line which is interesting because that's a that's quite a significant uh, move and um, we're now heading towards the green line and we've got our MT4 open and we've got 47 seconds of this particular uh, time frame the five minute time frame so are we going to go in for a buy it looks like it looks like a good possibility so 30 seconds left quite tempted just to get in now but we'll just wait until the next candle don't want to rush in So 17, 16, 15 seconds left. I'd imagine it'll settle down and then we'll get the, uh, the further, further moves to the upside. And again, we'll get another 10 pips, but we'll see. Okay. Right, so we got in for the buy and we'll see what happens. What you see here is the PSAR flipped and now we've got a lot of gap in between. There's a big gap there, there's a big gap here. We're already five pips up. So there's plenty of room for this to move now to the upside and probably move a bit more like um, gold should do. Six pips up. Almost hitting our targets, but uh, just up to about nine pips. Again, it'll dance around a little bit, but we've seen that over the course of this uh, this session. Still dancing around, um, up to nine pips again. And the thing is, the gold it does fluctuate so quickly; it's volatile. So you'll see your pips go up and down real quick. Which, again, if you haven't quite got your your emotions sorted out, your emotions will be doing this all the time. 10 pips, no, one pip, no, you know, so we're just dancing around, so dancing around sort of between five, seven, nine pips. I say as soon as we hit the 10 pips, then we're out of trade. So two minutes left on this candle. There we go, we're done. Right. So we got out there with 15 pips and we're still going to the upside. And if we use the uh, the exit manager then we can take half a pips out or we can do whatever we want with that and as you can see we're clearly going to the upside uh, and we can vacuum up more pips using the exit manager um, but from what I did I just did it manually and uh, again pips to be had on the way down and pips to be had on the way up and uh, we'll see what it does up until now so we've got uh, 14.54, we've got uh, six minutes left 
of the uh, of the crossfire strategy and again you don't have to stop there um, you know should you so wish you can see which way the markets are going and, and uh, continue with the day but you know for me personally I don't want to be sat in front of a computer just look waiting for trades you know wishing somebody would bring me a cup of coffee <laughs> Uh, I want to be in a trade, out a trade, and get on with everything else. Um, we'll just see where this is going. As you can see, for this, the sweet spot between 10 and 15 pips. And, and now it went up to that 14, 15 pip, and now it's come back down again. Um, so have a strategy, stick to it, and, uh, and have done. You can just see how reliable this, this strategy is from a point of view of waiting for this sell, getting in, I think, when do we get in? We got in here, didn't we? Getting in at this point here, again, you've got this indecision, you've got this support and resistance level here um, where the wicks went up and also here as well. And when wicks respect an area to that degree, you know that you're putting these these levels aren't the right, you know you put them in the right place. So looking at the stochastic, you can see it's out into the extreme. We've had the, the blue has been on top. So we can see sellers are in control and it's just happened, just, just, just happened to tail off there. And you can see that buyers are now starting to come to the top. So this, this separation between the two, separation here was quite wide. This, this was about here, okay. Then it went up and again, we're still going, still going for a lot. So it just gives you an idea, but from this oscillator, this stochastic from here, when it was down, sorry, I'll have to, sorry about that. When it was down to the extreme, when sellers were in control, it was here. And then we said it's gonna do two things, it's gonna bounce or break. Okay, so it's going to bounce up, so it's going to bounce, yeah, it's going to bounce up, or it's going to break and go to the downside. And it kind of messed around quite a lot, and then it went up. So the stochastic indicated that it went up there. Okay, now it's in the extreme, it could do anything. Okay, but you see the the sell the, sell in, the tail of that, that, that trend line there is starting to just, just go down a little bit. And as you can see, the price is going down. Um, it could flip anyway, but uh, as far as we're concerned, we've got our two two trades for the day, uh, ten pips and fourteen pips, uh, both in profit, um, and both within a two-hour period. So we've got two minutes left, fourteen fifty-eight right now. Two minutes left on this session, uh, and in two minutes we'll do, we'll just call it a day from there. There we go. That's the fifteen hundred candle. Uh, that's the end of the, the session really and the price is starting to come back down um, but in any case price can do what it wants but we've done our trades for the day we're quite happy we've done you know we've we've made our profits in fact we've done two days profits because we only, I only go for 10 pips a day so we've got uh, you know two and a half days worth of profits uh, in two hours so that, that's pretty decent so I wanted to put this together just to show you what the crossfire is kind of what I do on a day-to-day -day basis or what we do as a community uh, helping and, and uh, helping each other uh, just to really show you the the thought processes behind what goes into the strategy how easy it is um, and how literally I say to you anybody can trade um, if you if you want to so that's it um, I hope it helped and uh, I'll bring you some more information as I was to do more trades Okay, I'm John McLaughlin and it's been a pleasure spending time with you today and we'll speak soon. <music>